What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Blue Lock. Today we are going to be finishing the show. Now, real quick, the editing is going to be a little wonky because episode 20 was recorded previously to this, but I'm editing it into this reaction. So it's going to be 20 through 24, the final five episodes. I am very excited, loving the show. So much hype around this. I'm literally getting my IRL friends that aren't into anime into anime because of the show. It's a great entryway into sports anime. Loving it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are and want to see this uncut, full length, unedited, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. You can also get early access and full like, full length to the other shows I'm watching. Uh, also check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Thank you so much. Let's hop right on into it. Blue Lock, episode 20 first, but then this one is going to be 21. This one's called I'm Not There. Look at the two teams. Oh my god. Look at these two teams. Some really fun soccer. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's the thing they can relate on. Are you? I love we're gonna give the individual matches up match matchups. <laughs> He's like, he's like, are you sure you guys lost to these guys? He's like, yeah, just you wait. I have no idea. That's the that's the mark that I actually think is best. Yeah, Baro took that personal. But it's because when Tokimitsu gets in his mode, like he's physically a beast. That's what I'm saying. So I think, I think Baro is a good matchup. Yep, that's what I expected. Nagi and Ren. And it makes sense story wise for Isagi to be with Bachira, you know? So I'm down. I'm down. Let's do this, Bachira. I love the little matchups. Like we're playing fucking Street Fighter. Oh, they changed the formation. Here we go. Hey, we've all leveled up. We've all evolved. Come on. He's looking at your eyes this time. Ooh, the way they energies intercepted it. Great interception. Link up devouring. It's an anti combo. We're working together to one up each other. It, that's irony. I know just where you want it. Got his water shield. Chigiri, that speed. Red Panther. I love that nickname. Nice. The super link up play. Come on. <laughs> this is the only thing we can do to beat you guys. The super link up. Come on. Hell yeah. Egoist, come on. Bachi was waiting on this. Yup. Ooh, that long limb reachability. Oh, yeah. I mean, when he jumped out length, Nagi. Nagi's super tall. <laughs> Rin has to be the demon himself coming in. The music they're playing for him <laughs> feels like it's the Akatsuki. That's the real question. Oh, 
the double fake out. I love the way they animate with him in the water, all that. I love water in anime. He's floating so gracefully <laughs> in midair. Jesus. That's our new goal to make uh, Rin's heart dance. We're starting to put the pieces together. Oh, yeah. We're starting to put the pieces together. Yep. Yeah, you can't be in the moment. You have to be a little bit ahead of where we are right now. <laughs> He's like, I'm still on Windows 7, my boy. I got Linux. Good luck with that. You got a few more points. Make it work. Okay, run it and getting from the back. Yes, sir. I, I, sir. Yeah, it seemed like a shot, but it seemed like a pass, too. What sort of backspin shot pass was that? That was a dime. Sublime vertical spin, sheer poetry. That was the Shakespeare passes right there. So you're gonna hit it at its peak apex that you can hit? The middle of its arc, yep. Not its peak, my boy's peak. Because you're the tallest and highest jump of anyone here. The midair endpoint. Exactly. Well, a lot earlier than Chigiri and Nagi would expect them to him to jump. Right? They were just individual talents, and now they're actually starting to work as a team. This is getting scary. <laughs> glam that I hadn't yet explored. Unexplored glam. Oh, everyone is feeling the, 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 the pressure, the tenseness. Nagi's like, it's my turn. The music going on right now? That is true. He said, yes, I changed. I love Nagi's change over the past 20 episodes. Nagi's easily becoming one of my favorite characters. I do like that Nagi feels bad, though. He doesn't even leave a homie behind, and he feels bad for it. Oh, yeah, Ren can see through everything. <laughs> yup, I can agree. I will be the physical aspect. I, okay, the piece of the puzzle. Shatter that puzzle that these guys have established and built. Do it. To stay within your expectations. Don't think I'm some piece of your equation. Oh, I'll leave it. <laughs> Just read it, adapt, analyze. Come on. Redraw the future of the field in an instant. Don't have it already. Okay, this is so situated. It's so crazy. Two stage fake volley? He like fake shot it and then shot it immediately afterwards? Kamisama. <laughs> I mean, that's why he had to leave Rail. That's why. Sorry, Rail. <laughs> hey, man, I get it. Understandable. Yeah, 
That's the most energy we've seen come out of it. That's what he's frustrated. That's what he looks like. Oh my god. This is going to be some interesting development. Look at this rivalry. Meanwhile, what Bachira is watching? Yeah. The, the two monsters, the monster party. Okay, that's good. That's a good point. That's a very difficult goal to reproduce. But there is that level to it as well. We can't rely on other people, you know. This is to become the best striker. Okay. Bust a gut to keep up with me? Unusually, to say the least. Restart. Beautiful pass. The backspin. Oh, the backspin. The muscles are no joke. Toki Mitsu, he's already gone. Yup. And he will accept the challenge. <laughs> the chest takedown. Mad hops. It's the only available option. Yup, is to pass back to him. I love that. This is the real question. What will he do? He looks like he's going for a shot. Oh, the fake. Yeah, it could be a feint. And he just... <laughs> and he's bobbing and weaving. And the ball just passed it. That's what I'm saying. When did he pass it? He's manipulating everything to his own strategy, you know. Poor puppets. Yup. I love that visualization. Look at that. God damn. God damn it, man. The puppet master style. Okay, that was like us calling Baru a donkey with how much of a roast that was. This is very interesting. He's like Bakugo calling him extras, you know. I love the way they're visualizing his water, like reaching out and affecting everyone around him. Their full potential. <laughs> yep. He literally pushes you to your limits and somewhat beyond them. And Isugi was able to think about this and observe this in a matter of just a couple minutes. With the lion sounds and the red black lightning, chill out. Talk about a beautiful pass. And then we're going to fake him out when Bachi reacts to my sudden change and going to the outside. And then we're running past on the inside. And just like that, we're, we're in behind. And here comes Rin, reading you like a book. Baro, the lion, coming there and physically taking it. That visualization is insane. <laughs> yup, sometimes that's that's something that fucking Rin can't predict. Because that's why would you steal it from your own teammate, you know? With an empty stomach, the visualization of the lion is so sick. <laughs> Come on. Isn't in his playbook, so we can't anticipate it. Baro's got a non-normal style of soccer. 
as the villain of the field. I love it. Look at that powerful kick. Oh my god. <laughs> Valid point. <laughs> Junichi Sawabe, voice acting legend. He's like, I already reprogrammed my settings. We're good. The crazy handles. And just like that, Isagi's right there. And then you're never going to expect the third one, Borrow. And just like that, we're back in the unpredictableness. Glum Guns. A cool nickname. You can tell he had to exert himself for that one. Rin's actually trying hard. Yup. That was a very tight-knit play right there. Unpredictability to its maximum. This is a battle of mental just as much as it is physical. You can tell. <laughs> yeah, you can tell they're playing chess in their head. Bachira souped. He's souped. Hell yeah. You feel more alone than ever. They're leaving you behind. Uh oh. Bachi Red's about to have an evolution, isn't he? Oh, yeah, you guys will gas out. Okay. Unlimited gl fucking uh, glam guns, whatever Barrow is calling him. They foul him. Both get yellow cards. Wow, and does he get a penalty? All right, free kick time. Knowing Rin, I'm assuming he's going for the shot. Um, yeah, if you do jump, you're not going to be there for the pass. You know, you literally, at the very moment. Oh, you didn't jump. You got to jump. That was just a beautiful goal. He is the egoist. Bachira's about to evolve. Bachira, did you evolve too? Bachira Sucker Man! Was that the end of the episode? Wow! Alright, on to episode 22. This one is called Voice. Scene for... <laughs> Every time he breaks himself down and rebuilds himself, you know shit's about to get real. Okay, I'm ready. Kicking things off, no pun intended. Oh, 
That was you telling me without telling me to get past this guy? Okie Mitsu. And you guys were just a complete distraction. Thought I was for Morrow, but not. Decoy, exactly. So what do we do? What do we do? Chigiri? The burners? Okay. He goes somewhere. Okay. The future of the field I drew. Are you serious? It was all a fake. He fooled us. He fooled us. I swear I saw Ronaldo hit one of the cleanest back heel shots a while ago. I cannot believe he triple faked him out. <laughs> that was only able to happen because of Rin's ability to read Isagi specifically. <laughs> they all gotta give him props for that one. Exclusive. That's not working against anyone else, only Rin. That is crazy. I'm pretty sure it's 4-4, so on this last play, this is it. This is it. This is it. Bashira really feels like he's getting left behind. You gotta do everything in your power to be able to keep playing with him. What I'm saying, you're getting left behind. You finally got here, now you gotta stay here. He's that much of an artist that he'll draw you a goal based off your efforts. This should be very interesting, to say the least. Second selection, 4v4 rivalry, last play, kickoff. He's having a mental crisis right now. He's questioning himself. If you question yourself, it's not good, especially in the heat of the moment. What what am I supposed to do? What can I do? Oh. Yeah, all you can do is war. You go to a fortune teller. Who do you think you are, Chigiri? Yeah, because if you keep up like this, you know. I understandable. Oh no. Oh no. I understand completely, and I don't want you to go back to being alone. I want you to have friends that you feel like you can enjoy your passion with. But if that means you beat us, I don't want that. So evolve, go crazy, but let us beat you, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out Bachira's mother. What's Bachira's last name? Meguru, right? So shouts out Miss Meguru. My true inner voice. This genuinely feels like a, a Super Saiyan level, like he's about to evolve, you know, he's about to have a power up. 
Like some black clover shit, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that was the best supporting at the chest pass right to Isagi. Oh, wow. Rin took goalie upon himself. It's going to go to Bachira, isn't it? With only his voice guiding the way. Wow. Wow, he's leaving his monster behind. Disappear. We need to regather our own purpose and make our set, you know? We gotta break the curse, break the monster. He has to do this on his own. Don't pass it. The monster. The triple nutmeg. I, well, I love Bachira evolving, like I said, but I don't want him to beat us. That monster Bachira is. The music going on right now. Head to back heel. Is this man Rock Lee now? Is this man in Naruto? What the fuck is going on? With a first person perspective? This is so crazy. Are we actually going to lose? I'm going to be heated if we lose. Isigi's going to stop him. This back to square one ego. An Isigi. I knew it. That's the only reason he had confidence in going to that spot and stopping you is he knew you would be able to... Oh, I got goosebumps right now. God damn it. All right, we're back where we left off. This is episode 23. This one is called Luck. In that moment, Isagi surpassed Rin. Had just been a centimeter? What? No shot. No action. And just like that, we lose? I was so sure we would win. I am so shook. Nagi? Chigiri? 
異論は認めない今のラストプレー俺は完全に読めなかったここに来て初めてだぶっ潰したい人間が一人増えたぞくそか Besides his brother このまま沈まさ And that's Isagi Isagi よいち I cannot believe 俺の一番近くで俺が世界一になるのを見届けろ I cannot believe we're leaving Baru, Chigiri, and Nagi. So, yeah, we're done with stage two because once you hit the team of five, you pass. So, ah. We're done with stage two because once you hit the team of five, you pass. So, ah. We're done with stage two because once you hit the team of five, you pass. So, ah. We're done with stage two because once you hit the team of five, you pass. So, ah. We're done with stage two because once it's so crazy how fast you go from teammates to being rivals and enemies now, you know? It's crazy how fast. Oh my god. Yeah, oh, 100%. Nagi, Baru, and Shigiri were essential. I, I'm, I'm still flabbergasted. I thought this was going to be our team. They're so frustrated. God, I, I'm still shocked. I thought for sure we'd win. The loser gate, man. They go back to the third stage. We're going to have to go against the 3v3 again. <laughs> Just because he has no dead end, split ends. Yeah. That is crazy to think about. I mean, Ego himself came out and said it, you know? All right, this is gonna be weird to get used to. This is our new official team. He does. He has matured. He has evolved. <laughs> He's still bought you, all right? Hasn't changed that much. He's not wrong. Luck is uh, it's a hidden element. Fully agree. Luck is huge in competition. Literally, in the world of victory, defeat, aka competition, you know, luck is the unseen variable. Is he go here? What do we get? 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 Okay, info. Okay, I'm down for that. I have. It happened at my softball practice literally like two days ago. He's making valid points. He's making valid points. Oh yeah, what is what is the the point of this though? Okay. Even though it's something uncontrollable, it can still be manipulated, you know? Series of inevitabilities and coincidences. Yep. Burning that one into a hundred. Mmm. We're doing fucking math out here. Oh, it's luck that he created. It wouldn't have happened had he not, you know. But that wouldn't have happened had that prior context not been there, you know. He put himself in the best case scenario just in case it happens to go to him, you know. And then waited for the luck. Oh. The way he's saying this, it makes so much sense. Right. You have to be able to capitalize and maximize, you know? 
to respond to coincidences. This is a very interesting piece of advice slash conversation. The goddess of fortunes only smiles on those who can sniff it out. Bro, Ego will be spitting bars. I be loving what he's saying a lot of the times. I might like take his advice and put it in a real comp, you know? Yeah. I'm no longer gonna, if I die, I'm no longer gonna say bad luck or like in a video game, you know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm taking this advice 100%. So that's why he says he absolutely needs to crush you. That's why he chose you. Ooh. Damn, bro. Even in this weird way, we're still losing to fucking Rin's luck. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy. This is wild. Rebuild the whole shit. I wonder what crazy skills and aspects of soccer we're going to learn there. I'm ready. Get me out of this cage. Show me the outside world. I'm ready. Okay. Luna, the scion of Royale, the illustrious Spanish club. Leonardo Luna. Wow. Fire. Love the name. Now you guys need to answer, are these real players or made up? I'm assuming these are like Noel Noah, which are made up players. Adam Blake. England's top scorer. Argentina. Yeah, these are definitely have to be fake. Because I've watched Argentina in the World Cup. He wasn't on their team. Brazil, Argentina, England, Spain. These are crazy players. The child prodigy, French. He's Mbappe. Yeah. He's Kylian Mbappe. Wow, the late night training. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Bachira's gonna help him. Oh, yeah. I like how Bachira's energy went from blue to yellow. You know, he actually has changed. He's evolved. And he's his green, you know, I love it. But he can emulate the other colors when he's... I love the, I love the energy. Oh, I cannot wait to see this. Oh my lord. We got one more episode, I'm pretty... Oh, we got after credits for sure on this one. Third selection, Battlefield. Oh, we're starting. Japanese aren't known to be muscular at all. Okay, British accent, chill out. You lost the bet. Yeah, they're gonna be speaking in like broken English, you know, all international. What do you mean? Is this game like a part time job for you? Rin knows English? Hey, respect. Yeah, that's right. There's no reason I'd come to play it like between two or beside earning a little extra draw. You're the guy Sai into shit little brother, right? He made a name for himself at one of real subordinate teams. Mm. I'm sure you get some amazing talent. Okay. Oh. He's pushing his buttons. We didn't hear the, the young prodigy speak at all. The super ego he does have definitely a new style normally he would pass it immediately right so isigi's gonna break down and adjust to you not to him it was to rin oh come on Super fast link of play already up 1 0. They're like, okay, maybe we gotta try a little. These blue lock kids ain't too shabby. <laughs> That's gonna be the end of the episode, isn't it? God damn it. All right, on to the last episode. This one was called The Time Has Come. Oh, 
your road is too obvious. You got good foresight, but I'm fast. So he's like a French Holland, if I had to guess. I don't know much about soccer, but in terms of physical prowess, Erling Holland is the guy I look to, you know. That perception and reaction time. And just like that, they're already up 2 1. Don't care to tell me they're going to keep going. Oh my god. These guys are insane. This is what you're trying to be. You're trying to be this of Japan. I'm glad he gets like, he's so inspired. Rin is on the other opposite side, of very frustrated. I like you as a spectrum size brother. I'm going to discourage you. Oh God. If you open your legs up easily, people are gonna think you're a loose guy. <laughs> he said, Stop being a little whore. He said, Close the <laughs> Bro, I've never seen Rin get fucking sunned like that. Don't be depressed. This is just an assessment. <laughs> Bro, first assignment match against the world five. Team Blue Lock. Lost. Got their ass whooped, is what it should say. Yeah, I was about to say, no results? What? We've improved insanely. What does that mean? Are we gonna sh is he going to have the Japan national team go against us? Or like, what are we going to do here? I'm curious. Rin was heated. He got sunned, but in a way that he's never been sunned before. Like, Isagi's been sunned like 40 times since coming here. So it was like, okay, I mean, that was, you know. I was, yeah, exactly what he just said, you know. Rin was frustrated. Because he genuinely thought he was going to do this, and he thought he was getting so close to say, you know. Exactly. I love the way they're talking about Rin's mindset. He does have that kind of mindset. He truly believes, you know. That's one thing I fuck with this show heavy. It's not just the physical aspect. They go into the mindsets and competition in its essence so deep. And I love that. Because that relates to so many other things besides soccer. You have competition in everything. We're having English class? Like for everyone? And the remaining players advance to the third one. Okay. Like completely? I wonder, like, Gagamaru, Kunigami, everyone, you know. Okay, let me get everyone. I wonder if we're going to see Nico, one of the Wanima twins, who stayed, you know. How many teammates from our old team? Yep, Rin, Aryu, Tokimetsu, Bachira, Isagi, first team. He's going to be so shocked at the team or something. Why are they making it like this? Nagi, Baro, Chigiri, uh, Surugi, and I uh, hold on, uh, Kiora and Surugi. Uh, one of them looks like Zantetsu, so I assumed it was in. It is Zantetsu, okay. It's just his last name. Zantetsu was quick as all hell. Right. Not only Rin is determined to beat you, <laughs> all of them are determined to beat you. Oh, people I don't recognize at all. Yeah. Eita. 
Aiki. Can you? Aruhiko. Tabito. I was about to say, let me see some Team Zers. We're not seeing any Team Zers. Akira, Taiga, Shizuka, Reiji, Reggie, Nijiro. There's a lot of cool looking designs here. I can't lie. This is going to beat some Team Zers. Oh, Nico. He's the only one I recognize. He's not even a Team Zer. Yukio, Yo, Kairu. Uh, that's fucking Raichi. I swear I heard Raichi's voice. <laughs> yeah. Raichi, Gagamaru, and the one of the Wanami, Wana, Wanima brothers? And then we have two new guys. Okay. Come on. Show me some more Team Zers. It's going to be Rail, Kunigami. Who we thinking? What? Igaguri? Rayo and Kunigami the last two, right? Rayo. If Kunigami's not there, I'll be heated. Wow, it's not Kunigami. He's out. Ryusei. So just to pause it real quick, we lost Kuon. Uh, Iemon. Oh, I fucked with Iemon. Um, Imamura, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, Kunigami. Or anyone else? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now we just got a new rival. He's talking shit. Okay, Chiri for the save. Why is this guy straight about a roundhouse kick us? Okay, Bachira? Bachira's already kicked someone in the face in the first episode. He ain't, he ain't afraid to throw down a little bit. <laughs> National team, right? Something. Okay. U20 versus us. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. I thought like what? Yeah, theoretically they should stomp us. Season 2 is about to go so crazy. Oh my god. Oh. This is such a good spot to end it off for a new season 2. They did that perfectly. God. This is back in the first episode, right? I love the opening playing right here with a recap of everything that's happened so far. Oh my god. I got goosies. I'm fighting for me. All those guys are gone, man. Yamon, Kuon, I fucked with them. Naruhaya? Is that Kunigami? That's such a crazy way to put it, but he's so right. I'll climb over your corpses. <laughs> Bro, from where we started to now, in just this one season. Damn it, man. This is going to be crazy. Talk about a first season.
There was so much hype going into the season. I remember before it started, especially with Al Ashi coming out relatively recently before it. And oh my God, did this blow my expectations out of the water for not only the sports anime, but my first ever introduction to soccer. Like this show got me to watch the World Cup. And that World Cup I watched with France and Argentina in the finals was one of the best sports events I've ever seen in my life. So it's like, I can only attribute it and thank this fucking show. So shouts out to Blue Lock. Amazing. I said it multiple times throughout the reactions, but I love how not only on soccer, not only on physicality, but they touch competition, mentality, so many other aspects that are outside of just your surface level soccer. I'm going to kick the ball into the goal, you know, in the net type, you know, and so I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it, it sounds cringy, but you know it's good and it's realistic when I'm I'm genuinely pulling out pieces of advice they're saying and I'm gonna apply it to competition I do in my own real life. So I thoroughly enjoy that aspect. Thoroughly enjoy the characters. You know, I, I enjoy them so much when I am unequivocally butthurt that Kunigami is not gonna be in it anymore. Like one of my favorite voice actors, one of my favorite characters of the show uh and now we have a bunch of new characters that are going to be uh, the world five is insane rin is growing on me immensely and his brother oh this is gonna be so good Can you guys answer in the comments for me if you know did they already announce season two or like not obviously the date but a lot of the times when a season will end especially if it's done well throughout the season they'll confirm the new season you know just say hey guys we're working on it you know is this shit confirmed Cause I need this shit. I need this shit. Oh, so good. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If there's any other sports anime you want me to watch or uh, soccer or football clips in general, like uh, I would love to watch montages. I would love to watch. A lot of you guys were putting in the comments, uh, Ibrahimovic, Zlatan, right? That's his name. I know he's one of the best players that I've ever, uh, you know, I know not little about soccer. So if I've heard of him, I know he's gotta be amazing. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them. I appreciate y'all immensely. Peace out, Dapper Squad.